All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Fallout 76 Wastelanders. My name is Raven from the Sky, and let's. House for yourself. Oh wait, you dwellers have that old camp thing going on. I wanted to talk to you about Vault 79. Look at these blueprints. What? You want us to build a vault? That's a little outside of our usual work order. Huh? Oh, I see. Interesting. Client was obviously paranoid about security. Lasers, turrets, super thick walls. This is about that treasure, isn't it? So it's not bull after all. It's in this vault, and you want us to help you get it. Yep. It's not about just treasure. We want to build a new currency. You get a cut. Just understand one thing. I'm in charge. It's a huge opportunity. Paige, are you in? You got some grand scheme to reignite the basis of capital. And all that other money talk the lobbyists on the hill would always yammer about. Uh-oh. That's all well and good. But my concern is how that gold can help us right here, right now. How it can help the people of Foundation. <sighs> Look, let's say I believe you. A structure like this, you need some serious equipment to do any demo work. You don't have something that can do the job already? What do you think the gold could do for Foundation? Yeah, well, I mean, we could start thinking about the rest of this nonsense. Laser trip wires? How the hell are we gonna handle that? Oh, well, one thing at a time. You get us a big enough drill, we can find the right spot to hit. Every structure's got its weak point. Okay. I know a drill we can use the mother load. From Horn Wright's Industrial. Construction crew without its own equipment. I'm regretting this partnership already. <laughs> I know a drill we can use. The mother load. From Horn Wright Industrial. That's uh, the mining conglomerate, right? Yeah, that might just work. I'll start talking to folks about how we can crack the rest. You keep up your end, we might just be in business. Okay. There's always more work to do here at Foundation. I'm more of a settler, but I don't really like raiders. That's why I keep. Uh, I'm favoring them more. They, they gave us another Tesla rifle. Gonna be over encumbered for the forever. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Just gotta be hydrated here, so I find it. I had my camp built near um what is it the wayward but now it's talking about something you can't be can't be can't be placed can't be placed and it's been that way jesus all my vegetables spoiled the meat too fruit and it was like that for the two worlds and i'm sick of trying to server hop so just find a new spot to put it I had it there because I got a vendor set up and it's easy. When you're near cities, players are stopped. Like if, especially if you're right along the road, not way off deep in the woods and the mountains. Don't get me wrong, it's some cool, cool spots, but I'd rather be like near a city, like along the road, or you may just have to go off the road, not too far back in the woods. Because I feel like nobody's going to go way out to follow you, to, to go to your... Uh, camp but then again I guess to each his own because it does show on the map you know where your camp is and if you have a vending machine or not if you're a vendor you know the green V and whatnot. so I guess people could <laughs> I guess fast travel to the camp or what not if they want, want anything from you five I may make these up Cause see you get plus two percent that adds up. XP you get plus ten percent ten percent food and you get plus five percent bonus of XP. Oh, people love to hear that. Ranking up quick. So 
I hustle those too, but it's value is five, which isn't um, expensive at all, but I might knock it down to three. You know, people like the cheapest. Let's see what else I got, I got bourbon. Okay. Cranberry cobbler and cranberry juice, but the cranberry juice, we gotta venture to uh what do you call it? To the the, the, the that red side of the mat where the scorched beasts are. The over encumbered for life. He get they give you weapons. That I'ma probably hustle us the um Legendary weapons, because I know players love that. Especially they go to you and you don't have to farm. But I just feel like it's more convenient to have it off, you know, close to a city, or especially if you're near Vault 76. People can stop by. But I don't know if my camp might have been intruding with her wayward because I know you can't build a camp in the city or near any other structure you can't really you can't cheat like that you can't like piggyback for the most part unless it's it's um off of like a farm or something I know it, uh one dude had his camp built near a farm where I get the cranberries from he had it like on, on the not on the farm but just off of it to where Plants grow. That was smart. To where he could farm the, the the random fruit that grows there. Matter of fact, I'll show you. There's one spot I get my cranberries from. Here. Make cranberry cobbler. He had his 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 camp was like uh, over here or like anyway? down here somewhere, but can't build it here. Another place you can get cranberries is over here, but it's, you know, it's very dangerous over here with scorch beasts. Anyway, let's head to the uh, in Horn Wright Industrial. I can really go for a focus. Sandwich. Where the heck is it? place over here where it's 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 busted broken up with some crap it's in Charleston and then got a cool like 230 caps dude bought uh it was I had more than that but I spent a bit but uh I had sold that. What's that? That sledgehammer? All rise? Cause I'm I'm not I don't use it. I was like, what? You sold all rise? That's one of the best. Yep. Don't use it. It's gone. That's one of the best features they added. I don't know. I don't know if they added it with this update or how long ago. Cause see, I haven't. Like I said, I haven't played this. I haven't played Fallout 76 in about yeah, it's about a year. <laughs> Shoot, and some change. So I don't know if they added it last year. The year before, 20? Well, no, because I would have known. I don't know when they added that. But that's one of the best features. Now, you don't just have piles of junk just sitting there doing nothing. You can opt, to, opt out to sell it from your stash. Which, that's very good. Because some, someone will buy it if you have it at, at a uh, at a reasonable, pr reasonable price. Because people like to price gouge there's no really no penalty on a video game for doing that it's just to me your stuff won't sell I'm gonna call a spade a spade it won't might get some poor sap but you catch more flies with honey than vinegar put it that way uh, let's see shotgun
Remember, you had to run. Let me see. Doing the main quest line, you had to run like a course through here. Nash. The heck is Nash? I need some ammo. It's a 5.56 ammo. You got any ammo, Nash? Take a picture. It'll last longer. I don't have any business with you. What do you want? You're a friendly sword, aren't you? I don't know you. You ain't my friend. <laughs> I only need three things in this world. Chaos, cans, and a cold beer. If you're not putting up any, then you can move along. Said, I don't know you. I'm not your friend. I have some questions, friend. Maybe I have answers, but no promises. Oh. Give me all your caps. What are you doing in Charleston? Thought I'd stop by. Witness the death and destruction of Charleston and the responders. Thanks to David Thorpe and the Cutthroats. The greatest gang to ever exist. We have this waterfront destination right here. Oh, is that so? Too I'm a responder, punk. By the scorch, though. I would have loved to join them. The only good thing about them was they gave supplies to weaklings and made it easier for raiders to steal. Society is gone. If you can't change with the times. Then the rest of us will get yeah, because I don't remember this this guy or, being here. I guess in the case of the Christmas flood, over a thousand at a time. The cutthroats didn't let anyone walk over them, and weren't afraid to use any means necessary to get what they wanted. This destruction is from a mini nuke David used against the responders when they took his girlfriend. Honestly, I don't know what he saw in her. I just wish I could have heard the responders crying and screaming while they were all drowned like the helpless rats they were. This dude, man. Get to it. I'm the worst nightmare. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe. You can call me Nash. I came to Appalachia with those sorry excuses for raiders who were hold up in crater now their leader meg <laughs> couldn't even hack it as a cutthroat and had to start her own gang <laughs> they don't do nearly enough stealing and killing if you ask me i like their appreciation of violence and the finer things in life like torture but for now i'm happy on my own less people to share my chems with that way I heard there was people coming back here in search of some treasure. I'm not really interested in that sort of thing, but I couldn't pass up having some new victims. Where there's people, there's things to be stolen and lives to be ruined. I got tired of these so-called raiders acting like those foundation babies but with studs and leather. So I left to find out more about the gangs that were here. After I heard about what had happened here in Charleston, I knew I had to see all that destruction myself. Plus, I hear there's some sort of responder training set up around here. I'd just love to do my part and help keep them extinct. Good. If you asked the wrong question, I would have had to kill you. Give me all your caps. I like your style. I think all those buff outs might be going to your head, though. Hmm? Try this. And just so you know, if you ever try to take my caps by force, you and my blade will be getting real well acquainted. Yep. Hmm. I knew the man who lived here. It wasn't long before someone killed him. But this house sniped from one of the overlooking buildings. 
killed him for this house. I mean, don't let that happen to you, R. Oh, I guess they knew we'd try that, huh? That if you ever try to take my caps by force, you and my blade will be getting well acquainted. Look at these mintats. All right, let's get back to what we were doing. Although I did need that attic tall, though. Back to normal. Let's go. already here waiting on us scorched And it seems like you can't really sell your ammo. At least I couldn't do it from the I mean, from the, the vending vendor. I, I, well, you can if, from your camp, but when I went to try to sell it, normally it seemed like they didn't they didn't want it. I don't know. I you could do that. Somebody else is in here. Glass. A super mutant? How?
you come here and you've been here before too. Oh, it's the other door. It has something to do with that drill. Lead ore. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video. See anything? Oh, okay. Stay well here. All right, we should be clear. Check that out. T forty five. That's a part of ammo, because you could just sell those, and I, I guess they stop that. I guess because you could make a lot, even if they're not, you know, the value is cut by the vendor. You still can make a lot. You sell enough of them, because I don't use the power armor that much anymore. I used to like in early game. That this is your best friend, but if you're going for that tanky build, then I guess you could use it all the time. But early game, definitely the power armor is your best friend, even in Fallout 4, the single player ones. <clears throat> can take more hits you're like a tank in that but now you know I don't really need it as much it's more like I, if I want to use it iron and lead I'm gonna take that gold That's right, you, I think you do get the excavator suit.
Yoink. Could just sell it. It's not really useful. What's this? That's what I'm looking for. Black titanium ore. That's always good. Fail safe. Searching registered location logs for recent signal detection. <laughs> recent signal detected at Hornwright Estate Safe Room. Proceed to the location to complete fail safe procedure. Hornwright Estate. Estate and Safe Room access cards are required for entrance. Good Mark thing we picked that up. <laughs> I already have it. Head to Horn Wright Estates. Oh, let me see if I can fast travel from inside. So, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. I guess it depends on the locale. I've already been here. Shut. Down some buff tats. Yep. In here just by exploration Laser weapons are fun too, but I'm more of a, a, a normal weapon guy now. Invalid credentials. Access denied. You gotta be kidding me. I haven't. Get an access key card for the. 
Okay, the top four. You know what to say? Tell me how to go back to the factory. Okay. See, when I came here before, it was like overrun with robots. I want the access car, but I almost want to see what else we can find here. Am I right? Shoot. Look at all this stuff. Carry some of this stuff. Didn't you hear me coming? No. Do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. He had a personal robot in there or not. Continuing search for fugitives. <laughs> Keep on searching. Dried like this one, so one letter. Penny, if you're getting this message, I want you to go to my private lab under the estate and lock yourself inside. As you probably guessed, it's also a safe room. Don't open the door for anyone. I hooked up an access key card printer to this terminal and set it up and set up a secondary passcode entry subroutine that only you would know. A date, the most important day of my life. I love you, and I'm sorry that I didn't always show you that. Dad. Oh. There's a printer. Powers. Getting serious reservations for this motherload project. Look for clues to the passcode. He said the most important date of his life. I wanted to one the robots know.
Oh! RSVP, the pleasure of your presence is requested for the 29th birthday of Dr. Penelope. Born right on March 4th, 2077. March 4th, 27th. But it said unable to attend. That might not be the. We can try it. That was it. That just so happened to be the right one. Initiating breach procedure. All workers, please evacuate to safe distance immediately. What She's now? still alive. This safe room is a lot less safe than I expected. Breach procedure? Breach complete. Wow. Wait just a minute. You can't just barge in here, robot. Mother load. Mother load? Oh, of course. Oh, I see. This must be some sort of failsafe directive now that I'm back in this area. How fascinating. Wait, how is it that you can speak now? You didn't say anything when I came across you earlier out in the wild. You know, you're quite terrifying. Default audio device safe room loudspeaker is active and hardwired connection has been established. Of course, you mustn't have a built-in device. I guess Daniel decided you didn't need a voice unless you were speaking to him. Typical. 
Senior Executive Daniel Hornwright is not detected. Please provide a location for discovery and retrieval. No. Father, uh, Daniel, has been gone for a long time. Confirmed. Failsafe handoff must initiate. Dr. Penelope Hornwright, do you acknowledge and accept? We need this drill. Not only one hell of a stray dog, but yes, I'll accept. Failsafe procedures complete. Debug mode is now enabled. Doctor, please evaluate all secondary <laughs> user changes before submitting. Okay. Well, that was exciting to say the least. So, secondary user, eh? Who the hell are you? And what kind of changes is she talking about? I'm the mother load's friend, but I need your help convincing her to do something for me. You're going to reprogram the mother load to do what I want, all right? Who are you? Oh my God, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> Who are you? Didn't you hear her say my name? Oh, you are I'm smarty, huh? Right. This used to be my home a long, long time ago. Maybe you should introduce yourself now, hmm? I'm the mother load's friend. I was, <laughs> she's too smart for that. Oh, really? I told what you. What exactly do you need the mother load's help with? And as an aside, robots don't have friends and don't need to be convinced to do things. If you want them to do something, you need to reprogram them. No, oh, she's just smart. Robots can make friends. I want to use the mother load to break into a vault. Is that all? I assume from that pit boy on your wrist that you're from one yourself. Feeling homesick? You wouldn't joke about being homesick if you had to live in a vault. No, it's nothing like that. It's for the settlers that have returned to Appalachia. I don't understand. What do they want with a vault? I saw foundation on my way back into Appalachia. They look pretty comfortable there. You've been the foundation? No, I just saw it from a distance. I never want to assume that I'll be welcome. Good way to get shot at. Trust me. They don't want to live in it. It's a secret government stockpile from before the war. There are plenty of government facilities in Appalachia. More if you head north. What's so special about this one? Darn it. This is why we should... Oh God, I guess you should work on your charisma. I felt like yeah, it was no really no need to do that unless you were playing with a squad the whole playthrough. You know, your whole time. Because that's where most of the team benefits come in. But shoot, this... I wish I had done it. The vault is a giant cache of gold. Name your price. It's full of gold. We want to use it to back a currency and rebuild society. Hmm. Well, if your new society will allow ghouls like me to join, then I'll help. Otherwise, you can beat it. I've seen plenty of folks try to save the world since things went to hell, and all of them had their problems. Why should they welcome you? Aren't ghouls dangerous? Sure, welcome aboard. Lovely. Beats only having blasted robots to talk to. No offense, Mother Load. So what's the plan? The Mother Load can only go to specific places or beacons, so how do we work around that? Hmm. Well, I'll need a pit boy for a mobile terminal. Not yours, don't worry. I'll need a full construction kit so I can add some extra circuitry. Also, I'll need something I consulted on years ago. A circuitry schematic that could have changed everything if we hadn't blown ourselves up. Okay, I can get you that stuff. I'll install an untethered communication setup while you're gone. That way, we can talk to her whenever and wherever we want. Like any other bot.
Okay. Taint the schematic. I don't even know where that's at. Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Ring that bell so you don't miss an upload. Peace.